Yeah, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Al Plechner. Uh, I'm a practicing veterinarian uh, for over literally 48 years. My older son, Jay, says, I graduated in 1966 from UC Davis, and my son has basically said it was probably 1866. And sometimes it feels that way. I've had the opportunity when I first came out of school to uh, look at foods and problems that foods may have caused animals and people, so on and so forth. And I was studying and interested in allergies, autoimmunity, and cancer. And so uh, as a brief history, I did create the first non-meat food here in the United States and then designed uh, Nature's Recipe, which was the first lamb and rice in the country. And after 10 years, many of the animals became allergic to the lamb and rice. So I then created uh, a limited antigen diet, which was duck and white potato, venison, fish, rabbit, so on and so forth. Uh, it seemed to clean up the pet food industry. and. Uh, after that, I've kind of moved on into a field of uh, hormones and antibodies. And uh, my recent efforts have been to uh, show the world that there is a syndrome there that is allowing for allergies, uh, autoimmunity, and cancer that hasn't been discovered yet. And so uh, this is my thrust right now, after 48 some odd years, of showing the world a better way. Can you tell us what is Plechner syndrome? Yeah, Plechner syndrome uh, deals with the hormone regulation of the immune system. And what it's involved with is uh, showing how the hormones regulate the endocrine system, and, or the immune system, excuse me, and it measures certain uh, hormones and antibodies to show you that uh, your immune surveillance may be off, may not be off. And the importance of it is what it does is it measures cortisol, which is a hormone produced by the middle adrenal cortex. And it defines whether it's active or inactive because it compares it to what that cortisol does in the body. Uh, and it is regulated by higher up uh, what we call hypothalamic uh, adrenal estrogen type thyroid uh, an axis, if you will. What it does is the cortisol, uh, if it is active, uh, your estrogen levels, your antibodies, everything is perfectly normal. When it is inactive, and your tests today don't show you whether it's active or inactive because uh, they're not really uh, measuring comparative levels. And so with the syndrome, what it shows is it's a kind of a in between syndrome, between Cushing's syndrome and also Addison's syndrome. And what it shows is it shows that uh, with an inactive cortisol, uh, the inner layer adrenal can produce a tremendous amount of estrogen. And the estrogen everyone is fearful of now. Uh, the MDs know that and the DVMs know that high estrogen can promote uh, tissue growth, normal tissue. You can use drop estrogen on it, it will grow. The problem with modern medicine now, whether human or animal medicine, veterinary medicine, is the fact that total estrogen is not being measured. And so this is the importance of this. This actually uh, will show your healthcare professional that you really are in sync or out of sync. Uh, and the test is simply done. Uh, uh, the actual test protocol itself is on my website under Get Help, which is easily seen through www.drplechner.com. Uh, and it's an important, a real important syndrome that the world needs to look at now because it's never been discovered before, and that's why I'm kind of offering it. What I've tried to do, as opposed to my calling it Plechner syndrome, which the general public does, uh, I've named the syndrome uh, an atypical cortisol estrogen imbalance syndrome. But people... A little long for them to remember, so they call it Plechner syndrome.